Today's video is brought to you by TigerDirect.com. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. You guys have been asking for it. I paid attention to all your emails and I went out and got it. The FX8120 has got to my office. It's been tested and now we have the results for you guys. That said, let's just jump right in and get to the heart of the matter. First off, on this screen right here, you can see the specs of the new i5-2500K. On this screen here, you can see all of the specs of the new AMD FX8120. Similar in price to the Intel CPU, also at $219. Big difference between these two CPUs, one is an Intel 4 core, the other is an AMD 8 core. The thing that really gets me about this whole thing is, is that AMD hyped the hell out of this CPU telling me that it's the Intel killer, telling basic all of you about that. You guys have months have been telling me, oh, just wait, 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 wait. AMD is going to make this radical comeback, blah, blah, blah. That's, I think, where AMD took the gun and just shot themselves literally in the foot. If AMD would have just come out and said, hey, we're going to have the first eight core processor in the world. And it's going to be similarly priced to Intel's. People would have been like, oh, OK, what's the big deal? But when you go out and you tell everybody that you're going to have the latest, greatest, best and fastest, and it doesn't even really beat your own 1090T, that's when problems start happening. So now let's just jump right in and let's see the benchmarks. Like I told you guys before, I'm just comparing the 2500K directly against the FX8120 because they're the exact same price. And I think that's the fairest in comparison. It's apples to apples, you can't argue. Let's check it out. So you guys see the test results. In most of the tests, the Intel 4 core beats the 8 core. There are a few tests actually though, where this processor actually beat it. You can see those in there. So at the end of the day, would I recommend this CPU to AMD folks? I don't know. My tech was pretty really disappointed actually because of the hype, like I said earlier in the video. If AMD would have marketed this a little bit better, they would have a lot more people that were 100% behind this because the CPU, it's really not that bad of a CPU. It does run a little bit hot. I would really recommend getting a water cooler because any type of overclocking at all, no matter which type of board you're using, it's going to overheat very, very fast. When AMD came out and they said, hey, we have the fastest CPU in the world, we've clocked it to 8.2, well, guess what? They really didn't tell everybody that they clocked the thing down, they only had one core running. So that to me is like pretty just like, you know, whatever, it's a wanker move. You guys know that as well. Now, yes, true, some of you guys have said, you know, Intel does paper launch and stuff like that. I agree, Intel has done this stuff before. Intel's even tried to integrate platforms like the Scorpius and stuff, and I'd be negative against them doing it. At the end of the day, I think everybody's part should work together. So, I mean, if you're looking for something new and you wanna have the very first eight core processor, right now, your only choice is AMD. Does it really blow away the Intel four core processor? No, it doesn't. But I am hearing a lot of things that the Microsoft OS, Windows 7, is going to have a patch that's going to come out that'll make it run a little bit better. Now, when that's said and it does come back, we'll come back and we'll review the processor again with those changes made. But for right now, can I say this is a great processor? Well, it doesn't run that great right at the moment. It doesn't beat the 4-core. But it's $219. It is 8-core and it possibly has the potential to be better. So if you're an AMD fan and you want these things, I'd say go ahead and spend your money, buy it. But the 1090T is still right now faster. That said, that's a pretty fair review. I hope to see you guys back in the channel soon. Make sure to check out the link in the description and show our sponsors some love. For the best deals, go TigerDirect.com.